tears away at the skin, and thus brings death closer. You've to move your little camp elsewhere, God. You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Scram! Decent folk live here. Decent folk you mention. Mean yourselves. Why? Do you doubt it? Hell yes. Hear that, Artois? He poking insults us. On our own turf. We should step aside, good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. You are no. down for script. I am I can take a hint. Come, time to go. I thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they, they have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk, the shelter, elsewhere. They dislike that I help the beggars. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to aid you. Need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Garl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait, they'll all soon come for their meal. You can question them yourselves. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve this room. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romain? Why should I squeal? We were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me, Romain. You were given a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romain. Thank you. Who else? I got the one too. Uh, gave it to the boot black. And Freshy, he got one. But he can't tell you, as he's not here. I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the Feast of St. Barnabas. It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over, or I'll take it from you, plain and simple. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said, and she was frightening. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. This man helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there.
Damn it. What is it? Another name, truly? See for yourself. Well, well. I... I must say, even I did not expect this. This time, you will see to our Duquesa. It seems we underestimated Siana rather grossly. Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling. Puzzle complete now. Alas, the matter ceased to be a tantalizing brain tease and has turned incredibly grave. We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'etat. Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Siana planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Four seemingly random victims to start. The virtue's their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions. Ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Siana murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From an inborn pension for evil? Yes, yes and yes. All seem likely, and none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you can always ask her yourself. Think it's a good idea? After all, we foiled her carefully planned scheme. Think she'll even want to? Talk to you? Would it harm you in any way to try? Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment. Much harsher. I think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her. Coming with? Of course not. I shall await you at Mayor Lachey's long. I'll not risk entering the palace after Detlaf and his minions rampage. Besides, I vastly prefer the company of a simple mug of mandrake brew to that of the Duchess's vile sister. So, said straight up, it means you're going off to get drunk because you hate Siana. I've never been fond of categorical statements of that kind. But I admit I could not vouch for my behavior in her presence. She treated Detlaf cruelly. Cause his death in the end, and now this? Atop all that? No, Geralt. I will not go with you. I will await you at the cemetery. I never knew vampire exterminations could be so hard. I've worked up quite the appetite. Any takers? Last call, then I head home. Don't crowd around.
about? Need to see Siana urgently. In the matter of? Need to interrogate her. New facts have come to light. Need them explained. Seems she was planning near to Kessa's assassination. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Then you for my permission, but only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief. The Witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Have you come to see how I fare? I'm fine, thank you. Artorius's ribbon worked wonders. It's a shame they took it from I me. I know who the fifth victim was supposed to be. Goodness, you're simply a compulsive snoop. I'm in prison. Deadlock is dead. Could you not just drop it? Siana, stop pretending you couldn't care less. I know it's an act, and it's really starting to wear. Why do you want to kill her? For such an accomplished investigator to ask about the obvious? Come now, Geralt. Why do you think? Because she turned her back on you, then banished all memory of you. Bravo, Geralt. Yet another riddle solved, and your sick curiosity sated. Well, what now? Off to share your discovery with Anna Henrietta. Though she's no longer in danger, true. But she very well might add a little something to your reward. Definitely gonna tell her. Not necessarily for the coin, though. Then why do it at all? She ought to know. If only because you'll probably try to kill her again if she ever lets you out. I probably will. Perhaps, just for a second, you could stop dwelling on all the wrongs folk have done you, and forgive her? Why should I? For old time's sake. You loved each other once. Pfft, please. I don't know who fed you that rubbish, but... Read your governess's diary. You played together, were inseparable. Honoria did get you into trouble sometimes, sure. But there were also times she stood up for you. When you had nightmares, only she could calm you. Time eats away at memories, distorts them. Sometimes we only remember the good. Sometimes only the bad. If she loved me so, why did she wash her hands off me? Forget me, hmm? Don't know. But you could just ask her instead of sending monsters after her. There's nothing she could say to change what she did to me, to justify it. Maybe. But there's nothing out there to justify what you did to her and all Toussaint. Yet Anna Henrietta hasn't given up on you. Ugh. You really want a happy ending, don't you? Ah, with all of us living happily ever after. Go, Witcher. They'll give your medal to another, and that would be a shame. Farewell, Siana. Commander de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Let's go. Wanna see him too. Damien. Geralt, it's about time. Ready for the ceremony?
Your face doesn't look good. Though it looked even worse last I saw you. I apply a balm of Annika. Yeah, I hardly feel it anymore. Got some important information. Anna Henrietta was supposed to be Detloff and Siana's fifth victim. You are certain of this? Completely. Found proof. Inconceivable. How could she? The murders, the mayhem she brought down on the city, were they not enough? She sought to strike down her own sister, her liege. Traitor. I must alert my men. Enlarge the Duchess's honor guard. Make certain Sylvia Anna is closely watched during the questioning. I'll see to it personally. I thank you, Witcher, for alerting me. And I appreciate your attentiveness. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. In the guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, slayer of the beast of Beauclair, step forth. We bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the ducal table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? Grateful, Your Grace. Sadly, I'm afraid I have to sour the mood. It's Sienna. She plotted to have you killed, Duchess. Planned to use Dedloff. You were to be the Beast's fifth victim. This cannot be true. You're mistaken. You must be. I have proof. I do not believe it.
In a moment, I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, yet what you tell me now, I find devastating. I've come to doubt that I can judge her fairly. I'd far prefer to learn your mistake, Geralt. I'm not. In fact, I'd recommend you be particularly careful around her. You exaggerate, Witcher. She is my sister. I know well how to speak to her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Vauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. The Witcher will take part in our talk. The Duchess requested I be present. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Nor does it let me believe you sought my demise. My heart yearns to know you were swayed by the monster Detlav. You yourself would never stoop so low. Thus I have asked Geralt to advise me, as one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. Bitterness consumes Siana. She had cause to resent many of the court of Beauclair. I know her reasons. Understand them even. But I can't condone the actions she chose to take. What is he talking about, Siana? You know exactly what. I was forcibly exiled, remember? To your benefit. You knew that the throne would then be yours, though I was the elder. The ministers I can understand. They'd hated me since I was a child, thought me a poor prospect for the wife of a duke. I even understand our parents had always sensed the problem. They simply feared me, for I dared to be free. That fabricated curse, it fell into their laps. A gift from above that brought relief. But you... Your dagger hurt most. You were my honorietta, dammit. My darling little sister. Now do you understand, Witcher? She betrayed me. Claim to understand them all? Why'd you come back for revenge? Have them all cut down then? They deserved my vengeance. They detested me, all of them, as long as I can remember. But Honorietta understood me. Once. She was all I could cling to. Her betrayal hurt the most. You were children then. You and your sister both had no control over what happened. You're wrong, Witcher. She had control. Remember, dear sister, the day they banished me from the palace. Of course, I'd had the idea to pelt the Nilfgaardian envoy with fish platters, which we filled with rancid suet on a lark, and which you set afire at the last to impress me, I imagine. And I admit, you did. Hit him right in his hideous bold patch. Never laughed so hard in my life. But when it came time to find the culprit, you said not a word. I took all the blame and all the punishment. It's true. I did not stand up for you. I was too afraid. The council was unanimous. They listed all my offenses, my flights from the palace, supposed acts of cruelty, inappropriate friendships. They cast me out, but you, the only one to understand me, you cowered in a corner, lifted not a finger to help, not before, 
Not after. You never tried to find me. That's not true. I searched for you. Sent out knights, gathered tidings from without. You did not wish to be found. Since the day you vanished, I have lived with the knowledge that I failed you. I'm sorry, dear sister. Can you forgive me? ceremony it was short perhaps for you as you ducked out early the others are probably just getting started and drunkenness never ends in this quaint realm not so fond of Toussaint after all are we oh this place is like a strong wine guild good in small sips How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? You decide to go root picking now? It's dark out. Ah, oh, Geralt. Even were I generously to assume it had simply slipped your mind that I'm a vampire and thus need no light to see, I'd never believe you had also forgotten that you likewise have absolutely no trouble seeing in the dark. So, shall we? If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. This moonlight makes me oh so dreamy. 